What's up everyone, Jake Berlini with Apocalypse Movies and I am back with another news bit, a daily news bit coverage uh, segment we got here at Apocalypse Movies. We like to cover trailers, news, casting, all kinds of news that comes out for the movie world. Today we have more Star Wars news. Yesterday the news broke that Chris Miller and Phil Lord will not be directing the Han Solo spinoff anymore in the middle of production. Filming has been going on for a few months now. Um, at the time I did the news bit, we didn't really know why, what was going on, um, you know, what really happened. We kind of figured out a little bit later on that it was happening. It wasn't yesterday, it was two days ago actually. But um, ended up that they were fired because of truly cre creative differences, which is rare to hear. It's always the excuse, but never really the, the true thing that has happened. It is the case this time, and um, it, is over, it, is, it is over creative differences for the character, um, and also how they kind of ran the set and, and interacted with people. People are taking their side, people are taking Lucasfilm's sides, whatever, it's over and done with. Um, when it had happened, rumor names for Take the Director's Chair popped up, including Lawrence Kasdan, who wrote the film and has been in the Star Wars lore for a very, very long time. Uh, Joe Johnston, um, who's been a, a big director for a very long time, and Ron Howard, who may be the most known name out of those. And the news broke this morning, thanks to StarWars.com, Ron Howard will be taking over the director's chair for the untitled Han Solo spinoff. Um, same cast is going to be in place. Uh, he's just going to come in. They're going to have meetings. The film is actually in hiatus from production right now. They were in a bit of a break kind of reviewing stuff. Um, so it kind of happens at the best time possible for him to come in. Ron Howard, if you don't know who he is, um, Apollo 13, uh, you know, A Beautiful Mind, Cinderella Man, Willow, maybe one of the most classic. Uh, recently, he did the Da Vinci Code movies with Tom Hanks. He also did Rush with Chris uh, Hemsworth, which is one of my favorite movies of the last decade. The movie is absolutely phenomenal. And then most recently, um, In the Heart of the Sea and, and of course, Inferno uh, with Tom Hanks. But kind of a, a mixed choice to a lot of people. I personally don't mind his directing. Yes, he doesn't have uh, such uh, a couple that movies that are just, you know, are so-so or maybe, you know, not as good as they could have been. A couple movies that are just nowhere near what they should have been. Um, but he's a very, very capable director. He's a veteran. He's going to come in and do what they ask. He's not going to cause any kind of drama. Um, he's been in the business a very, very long time. And so it's a very smart smart move for Lucasfilm to grab someone as... as uh, as uh, Ron Howard and so I'm on board for it I think it's a good choice I think he's gonna do a really good job we've seen very strong bright spots of him in the past and recently obviously with Rush Apollo 13 one of the best space movies of all time um, A Beautiful Mind and Cinderella Man both starring Russell Crowe obviously classics over their time uh, really really fantastic movies um, so he des definitely has a, a filmography that people are gonna be like oh yeah he's an awesome choice now, why people may be going against him, obviously the Da Vinci Code movies are kind of just eh. You know, they're not very interesting. The story's like not as interesting as it could have been. Characters kind of bland. Um, they kind of just go on and on. Uh, especially this last one, which I didn't even see, but I was, I was told that it just was not, it was not capable of being, you know, even like a theatrical release, which is very unfortunate. So, he's definitely up and down. Um, but look, he's got a crew behind him, like Lawrence Kasdan and his son John, they wrote the film. Lawrence Kasdan uh, not only has been involved in Star Wars for a very long time, but he pretty much shaped the character of Han Solo in The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Like, we know Han Solo now because of that of who he was back in those movies, and Lawrence Kasdan wrote that character for Harrison Ford. Now, of course, Harrison Ford improvised. He kind of brought the, the suave and the savviness and everything, but it all came from a blueprint of Lawrence Kasdan. And John, obviously, learning from his father, it makes sense. Um, <clears throat> also, Bradford Young. Now, we don't know if he's actually going to stay on because he was attached with Phil Lord and Chris Miller. I hope Ron Howard comes in, keeps the same people instead of bringing in his own people. Uh, Bradford Young is a cinematographer. I hope he stays on. He's fantastic. Uh, most recently, he did Arrival. Uh, beautiful, beautiful film. And if he stays on for this movie, I'm just it. it's going to blow my mind visually, which I'm so excited about. And if we end up seeing some kind of ship race or, you know, a space battling going on with the Millennium Falcon or some kind of ship that Woody Harrelson and Alden Irex characters are, are flying, Bradford Young is going to bring a specific style to this movie that is going to be visually stunning. 
And so I hope Ron Howard keeps him on board. I have a feeling that's going to happen. I feel like Lucasfilm is just going to be like, hey, we're keeping everyone. We're going to keep it how it's been. Just make as minor the minor adjustments as we need and move forward. So, But as far as Ron Howard goes, I'm all on board. I think it's a great choice, especially out of the rumored ones. Joe Johnson would have been a fantastic choice as well. And I would not have argued against Lauren Kasdan because he's been on set. He wrote the film. He knows Star Wars. But I think Ron Howard is a great choice because he's a veteran. He's going to come in and do what he needs to do. Um, there's not going to be any kind of issues. We'll see if they add production time onto the schedule time, obviously with this little little bit of hitch in the schedule. But um, they, two days later, they grabbed a director and they're moving forward. So it looks like Han Solo is actually going to be set and ready to go for its May 25th, 2018 release date. We will see. I hope that's the case. I don't want to wait you know, another six months or whatever it is, especially since it is going back to the month of Star Wars in May where it originally released. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you like Ron Howard? Do you like his movies? Do you think they could have gone with someone different? Out of the rumor names, is he the best choice or could they could have gone with Joe Johnston or Lawrence Kasdan? I mean, what do you think? Let me know. Let's have a conversation. Head down to the comments. I am Jake Berlin. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Qui-Gon Jake. That's right, Qui-Gon Jake. Um, check out ApocalypseMovies.com every day. Got all kinds of cool articles going up. Gio, Brian, and myself. Uh, always writing down on the page. Um, check out our YouTube channel as well. Um, daily news bits, trailer reactions, movie reviews. Padawan podcast, which we will definitely be topic talking about this subject this weekend. That should be up on Monday. Uh, we'll be filming it this weekend. And it'll be up right away on Monday morning. And of course, Comic Hero Talk, we brought back where you talk about everything comic books and comic book movie related topics. Um, so again, thank you for joining me. Head down in the comments. And until next time, may the force be with you.